here's a question. Who taught you how to walk? Did, did your parents teach you how to walk? Did somebody say, did, put your right foot here, <laughs> and then you put your left yeah, hand the there? Dance. Oh. <laughs> right? Not, there's all humans across all the globe, unless there's a problem, most humans, 99.9% .9 of us, taught ourselves how to walk. Before we knew how to speak and say language. So where does this come from? We were given it many, by many, 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 many years of evolution. So at one point, you were a baby. Not a baby. On the floor, laying down, <laughs> and you couldn't do nothing. <laughs> this was it. You could, <laughs> you could cry, but you knew that you had to move. Before you knew how to talk or, or knew what the, a pirate ship was or anything, you knew that you had to move through time and space if you wanted to experience this thing called life. And so the first movement that you did was rolling. You learned how to go from your stomach to your back and from your back to your stomach. From there, you built up your strength in the back chain, glutes, hamstrings, and everything. You didn't consciously say, I'm working my glutes today. I'm working this today. You just were moving around and your body, the natural intuition and intelligence of your body said, this feels good. She starts doing some exercises. She's not saying, oh, my tricep is weak over here or my this is it this. You're feeling, your body is responding to you and you're developing. From here, then we are able to put ourselves onto all four, move ourselves back here and continue to strengthen this process until now the head is up, we can start looking, and then crawling begins to happen. Crawling begins to happen. This is our first ability to really move forward as parents, whose parents in here as children. You know when this happens, it's game over. <laughs> now you gotta keep your eyes on them. It's game over. And so this crawling pattern right here turned into your walk. And you did all of that without knowing nothing. This is insane. Am I the only one that thinks this is insane? <laughs> right? We go to school, we learn mathematics, we learn this, we learn books, and then we da 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 How many animals have the ability to stand on two feet and to walk, or run, and sprint? It really is nothing short of a miracle to be able to walk, to be able to run, and this miracle you were able to give yourself, you were able to give yourself without going to school, without someone telling you what to do, this was a natural you. So everyone here has their own way of walking, but it's very, 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 very same. You go to China, what do you see? People walking, they don't walk in their hands. Go to Australia, New Zealand, everywhere people are walking because we're all humans. So today, we are having this conversation, bringing you back into this natural way of you developing yourself to be able to move forward, which is walking. This is health, this is strength, being able to move forward through your life, and it's very important. We forget that we taught ourselves this, so when we think, oh, there's something wrong with my knee, oh, there's something wrong with this, oh, I want to get strong, what do we do? Instead of asking ourselves, we go to online. Well, how do I get strong? We go to a book. How do I da 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 da? We look for answers outside in the world instead of asking ourselves really what's going on.